Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Video Tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how to display stars and numbers in rectangle shape or rectangle pattern. We also understood how to display stars and numbers in triangle shape or triangle pattern. I suggest you people to watch those videos and then come back to this video guys because you people understand whatever I teach in this video very easily. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to display stars and numbers in pyramid shape or pyramid pattern guys. Let me go to code block and explain everything step by step. I minimize the word. I double click on code blocks icon to launch the code blocks IDE. You can see that code blocks IDE is launched. I am going to create one new project. I say file, new project. I select here projects, say console application, say go. Then I say next. I select C language, I say next. Then I give the project name Pyramid Pattern Demo. I say next, say finish. You can see that Pyramid Pattern Demo project is created. I click on the plus sign. I double click on main.c to open. You can see that main.c file is open. I am going to delete this line of code which is not necessary. I delete this line of code which is not necessary. Here I am going to create one integer variable i. Initialize with the value 0. Then I say for i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 3, i plus plus. Opening floor bracket, closing floor bracket. Here I say printf, in double quotations I say star, space, semicolon. Then I say printf, in double quotations I say backward slash n, semicolon. We know that this for loop is executed 3 times. First i will be 1, 1 less than or equal to 3 is true because 1 is equal to 3 may be false, but 1 less than 3 is true. Any one condition is true, the result will be true. So the for loop body is executed, printf star displays one star and space, then backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line guys. Then i value becomes 2, 2 equal to 3 is false, but 2 less than 3 is true. Any one condition is true, the result will be true. So the body of the for loop is executed. On the second row, printf displays one star and space. Backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line. Then i value becomes 3. 3 less than 3 is false, but 3 equal to 3 is true. Any one condition is true, the result will be true. So body of the for loop is executed. On the third row, star is displayed, space is displayed. Printf backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line. Then i value becomes 4. 4 less than 3 is false because 4 is greater than 3. 4 equal to 3 is also false because 4 is not equal to 3. Both conditions are false. So this condition results into false. The loop is terminated. So we see 3 stars displayed one below another guys. I say control x. If I say build and run, you see 3 stars displayed one below another. Actually what I want is, in the first row I want to display 3 stars guys. In the second row, I want to display 3 stars. In the third row, I want to display 3 stars. Here, what should happen is, for every iteration of this for loop, this printf star should get executed 3 times. So, we have to put this printf star in an another loop. So, what I do, I am going to create one more integer variable j. Initialize with the value 0. In this for, I am going to create one more for loop. I say j is equal to 1, j less than or equal to 3, j plus plus. Opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket. I cut this printf star, put that inside inner for loop and backward slash n, I put it in the outer for loop guys. The outer for loop is executed 3 times. For every iteration of the outer for loop, inner for loop is executed 3 times guys. First i value will be 1. When i value is 1, inner for loop is executed 3 times. It is executed 3 times guys. So printf star displays 3 stars. And then backward slash n, printf backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line. And then i value becomes 2. When i value is 2, inner for loop is executed 3 times. So in the second row, printf star displayed 3 stars guys. Then backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line. Then i value becomes 3. 
when i value is 3 inner for loop is executed 3 times so printf star is going to display 3 stars one beside another in the third row and printf backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line then i value becomes 4 4 less than or equal to 3 will be false guys i am going to cut this if i say build and run you see stars displayed in rows and columns fashion in a rectangle shape in the first row we have 3 stars in the second row we have 3 stars in the third row we have 3 stars when outer for loop and inner for loop are going to have the same max value such nested loop is called as quadratic loop guys so we take help of quadratic loops to display stars and numbers in a rectangle shape next what we did we understood how to display stars and numbers in a triangle shape or triangle pattern to display stars and numbers in triangle shape or triangle pattern we take help of dependent quadratic loop guys what is dependent quadratic loop we know that dependent quadratic loop is a nested loop where inner for loop or inner loop iterations depend upon outer loop counter variable value here row is the outer loop counter variable guys let me go to code block instead of saying here 3 i say i and what is i i is the outer loop counter variable now what happens when i value is 1 inner for loop is executed once guys so printf star displays one star in the first row then backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line then i value becomes 2 when i value is 2 inner for loop is executed two times guys so printf star displays two stars one beside another in the second row and backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line then i value becomes 3 when i value is 3 inner for loop is executed three times guys so printf star displays three stars star space star space star space in the third row and printf backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line then i value becomes 4 4 less than or equal to 3 is false so this code is going to display stars in a right angle triangle fashion i delete this if i say build and run you see that stars are displayed in a right angle triangle shape right guys what actually we want we want to display stars and numbers in a pyramid shape or a pyramid pattern so how stars are going to display in a pyramid shape star 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 i just add spaces here and space star space star then space space star so that is how our output should look guys this is stars displayed in a pyramid shape we want to get the output something like this so what we have to do before every row we should display some spaces guys before every row we should display some spaces or uh, how do we display spaces let me explain step by step first thing is we are going to modify these variable names the outer for loop is responsible for creating rows guys so instead of i i am going to use the variable name row instead of i i use the variable name row i use the variable name row guys instead of i i use the variable name row instead of i i use the variable name row and the inner for loop is responsible for creating columns so instead of j i use the variable name call i say here call i say here call i say here call and instead of using this three constant i'm going to create one more variable for that called as total rows equal to three here i am going to say total rows if i say build and run we get the same output there is no difference in the output because we just modified the variable names guys if i say here five rows it should create if i say build and run it displays five rows in the first row we have one star in the second row we have two stars in the third row we have three stars in the fourth row we have four stars in the fifth row we have five stars right guys let me close it here i'm going to say total rows should be three i say build and run in the first row we have one star in the second row we have two stars in the third row we have three stars let's display stars in pyramid shape what i am going to do i am going to create one more variable called as space initialize with the value zero guys before displaying stars here i say for space 
is equal to 1 space is less than or equal to total rows minus the current value of row semicolon space plus plus opening floor bracket closing floor bracket here I say printf in double quotations I say space semicolon this code is going to display stars in a pyramid shape guys if I say build and run you see that stars are displayed in a pyramid shape so we have successfully wrote a code to display stars in a pyramid shape let me explain how this code is executed using ms paint you can see that i have pasted the code already let me explain it step by step when control hits to this line what it does we know that it allocates four bytes of memory location to that memory location it gives a name row puts the initial value inside it 0 let's assume its address is hash 1 then it executes the next statement int call equal to 0 it allocates 4 bytes of memory location to that memory location it gives a name call puts the initial value inside it 0 let's assume its address is hash 5 then it creates another 4 bytes of memory location for total rows it allocates 4 bytes of memory location for total rows puts the initial value inside it 3 let's assume its address is hash 9 then it executes the next statement int space equal to 0 it allocates 4 bytes of memory location to that memory location it gives a name space initially it puts the value inside it 0 let's assume its address is hash 12 then control comes here first initialization statements of the outer for loop are executed row equal to 1 row is initialized with the value 1 guys then it goes to condition part of the outer for loop checks the condition whether row is less than or equal to total rows whether row is less than or equal to total rows here we have two conditions row less than total rows or row equal to total rows any one condition is true the result will be true right guys 1 equal to 3 is false but 1 less than 3 is true any one condition is true the result is true guys as this condition evaluates to true it executes the body of the outer for loop control comes inside what happens here it finds a for loop first initialization statements of this for loop are executed space equal to 1 so space is set to 1 guys then it goes to condition part of the for loop space less than or equal to total rows minus row total rows is what 3 row is 1 3 minus 1 is what 2 guys it checks whether 1 is less than or equal to 2 1 is equal to 2 is false but 1 less than 2 is true any one condition is true the result is true as this condition evaluates to true it executes the body of this for loop printf space displays one space guys after executing all the statements in this for loop control goes to space plus plus that is increment or decrement part space is going to be incremented by one it is one it becomes two guys then it goes to condition part of the for loop checks the condition whether space is less than or equal to total rows minus row total rows is 3 row is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 guys I have written here it checks whether 2 is less than or equal to 2 2 equal to 2 is true so any one condition is true the result is true as this condition evaluates to true it executes the body of this for loop printf space displays it displays a space after executing all the statements in the body of the for loop control goes to space plus plus space value becomes 3 guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether space is less than or equal to total rows minus row total rows is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 i have written here space is 3 3 less than 2 is false because 3 is greater than 2 3 equal to 2 is also false because 3 is not equal to 2 as both conditions evaluate to false this entire condition results into false guys as this condition evaluates to false this for loop is terminated control comes here 
then this for loop is executed guys call equal to 1 is executed first call is initialized with the value 1 then it checks the condition whether call is less than or equal to row whether call is less than or equal to row 1 less than 1 is false but 1 equal to 1 is true so any one condition is true the result is true as this condition evaluates to true it executes the body of this for loop printf star displays a star and it also adds one space guys after executing all the statements in the body of this for loop control goes to increment or decrement of the for loop call plus plus is executed call is going to become two guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether call is less than or equal to row call is two row is one two less than one is false because two is greater than one two equal to one is also false because two is not equal to one as both conditions evaluate to false this results into false guys as this condition evaluates to false this for loop is terminated printf backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line guys you can see that in the first row we got one star displayed after executing all the statements in the body of the outer for loop control goes to increment or decrement part of the outer for loop row plus plus is executed row is one it is going to be incremented by one it becomes two guys then it goes to condition part of the outer for loop checks the condition whether row is less than or equal to total rows row is two total rows is three two equal to three is false but two less than three is true any one condition is true the result is true so it executes the body of the outer for loop again control comes inside it finds again a for loop space equal to one is executed space is reinitialized back to one guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether space is less than or equal to total rows minus row total rows is three row is two three minus two is one guys three minus two is one one less than one is false but one equal to one is true any one condition is true the result will be true as this condition evaluates to true it executes the body of this for loop printf space displays one space guys after executing all the statements in the body of the for loop control goes to increment or decrement of the for loop space plus plus is executed space is one it is going to be incremented by one it becomes two guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether space is less than or equal to total rows minus row total rows is three row is two three minus two is one space is two two less than one is false because two is greater than one two equal to one is also false because two is not equal to one as both condition evaluate to false this condition results into false guys as the condition results into false this for loop is terminated control comes here again it finds a for loop call equal to one is executed call is reinitialized back to one guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether call is less than or equal to row call is one row is two one equal to two is false but one less than two is true any one condition is true the result is true guys as this condition evaluates to true it executes the body of the for loop printf star displays one star and it displays a space here because we have space there after executing all the statements in the body of the for loop control goes to increment or decrement part call plus plus is executed call is one it becomes two guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether call is less than or equal to row call is two row is two two less than two is false but two equal to two is true any one condition is true the result will be true as this condition evaluates to true it executes the body of the for loop printf displays one star and space after executing all the statements in the body of the for loop control goes to call plus plus call is going to become three guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether call is less than or equal to row call is three row is two three less than two is false because three is greater than two three equal to two is also false because three is not equal to two as both condition evaluate to false this entire condition results into false guys as this condition evaluates to false this for loop is terminated 
print f backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line guys you can see that when row is 2 we got two stars in the second row after executing all the statements in the body of the outer for loop control goes to increment or decrement part of the outer for loop row plus plus is executed so row is going to become 3 guys it is 2 it is going to be incremented by 1 it becomes 3 then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether row is less than or equal to total rows row is 3 total rows is 3 3 less than 3 is false but 3 equal to 3 is true any one condition is true the result is true as this condition evaluates to true it executes the body of the outer for loop control comes inside for space equal to 1 is executed space is reinitialized back to 1 guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether space is less than or equal to total rows minus row total rows is 3 row is 3 3 minus 3 is 0 guys it checks whether space is less than or equal to 0 space is 1 1 less than 0 is false because 1 is greater than 0 1 equal to 0 is also false because 1 is not equal to 0 as both conditions evaluate to false this entire condition results to false as this condition results to false this for loop is not executed control comes here for call equal to 1 is executed so call is reinitialized back to 1 guys call is reinitialized back to 1 then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether call is less than or equal to row call is 1 row is 3 1 equal to 3 is false but 1 less than 3 is true any one condition is true the result will be true guys so this condition results into true it executes the body of the for loop printf displays a star and a space after executing all the statements in the body of the for loop control goes to increment or decrement part call plus plus is executed call is going to become two guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether call is less than or equal to row call is two row is three two equal to three is false but two less than three is true any one condition is true the result will be true guys as this condition results into true it executes the body of the for loop printf displays star and space after executing all the statements in the body of the for loop control goes to increment or decrement part call plus plus is executed call is 2 it is going to be incremented by 1 it becomes 3 guys after executing call plus plus it goes to condition part checks whether call is less than or equal to row call is 3 row is 3 3 less than 3 is false but 3 equal to 3 is true any one condition is true the result is true guys as this condition evaluates to true it executes the body of the for loop again printf star displays a star and space after executing all the statements in the body of the for loop control goes to increment or decrement part call plus plus is executed call is 3 it is going to be incremented by 1 it becomes 4 guys then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether call is less than or equal to row 4 less than 3 is false because 4 is greater than 3 4 equal to 3 is also false because 4 is not equal to 3 as both conditions evaluate to false this entire condition results into false guys as this condition results into false this for loop is terminated printf backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line when row value is 3 you can see that we have displayed 3 stars in the third row after executing all the statements in the body of the outer for loop control goes to increment decrement part of the outer for loop row plus plus is executed row is 3 it is going to be incremented by 1 guys it becomes 4 then it goes to condition part checks the condition whether row is less than or equal to total rows row is 4 total rows is 3 4 less than 3 is false because 4 is greater than 3 4 equal to 3 is also false because 4 is not equal to 3 as both conditions evaluate to false this entire condition results into false guys as this condition results into false the outer for loop is terminated you can see that we have displayed stars in a pyramid shape you can see that we have displayed stars in pyramid shape i'm going to erase these spaces so that we can clearly see that we have displayed stars in pyramid shape that is how you will think and modify the code to get the desired result guys instead of displaying stars we can display the value of row guys if i say here percentage d and display the value of row if i say build and run we get the output displaying 1 2 2 
333 numbers displayed in a pyramid shape i close it instead of displaying row we can display the value of call if i say build and run it displays 1 1 2 1 2 3 we are displaying numbers in pyramid shape guys i am going to display again star in a pyramid shape here and let me increase the number of rows to maybe 9 if i say build and run you see that we are displaying stars in a pyramid shape it has 9 rows that's it guys for this video tutorial i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly try the code yourself experiment with more examples in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about c programming language for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.